Creating a prism in Google SketchUp is very easy. You can select the third tool here, which looks like a rectangle or square, and create a rectangle or square, wherever you'd like it. Now keep in mind in Google SketchUp that there are three different planes that you're working with. So here I'm on the floor or the ground that is denoted by the green. Uh, that lets you know that you're on the ground. If I wanted to have this plane vertical, I would want to create it with the blue line being my focus. So here you can see I'm creating it with the blue line being my focus so it's vertical. And if I wanted to create it with the red line being my focus, um, then I could create it like so. Now I'm going to create it with the red and green lines in mind because I want it as the floor. I'm actually going to delete the lady here. I'm going to click on her and hit to delete with my selection tool. And then I'm just going to come to my push-pull tool, click on it, grab the middle of my rectangle and drag it up and voila, I have a prism. So something else that you may uh, want to be able to do with the prism is either measure it or tell it how big you want it to be before you create it. So I'm going to show both of those things. To measure it, I can use my measuring tool, which is called the tape measure tool, and you'll see my cursor hovering over it. So I can click on that tool and then take the end of it and you'll see the little green dot appear and it says endpoint. I go from there to my other endpoint and it tells me the length and I can see it both in the window where I'm dragging it as well as down here in the box for length. Now you have to have that turned on so let me show you real quick what, what toolbars I have turned on. So you, you may or may not want all these toolbars turned on. So if you go to view and toolbars you'll notice I have a lot of them turned on. In order to see measurements I have to have measurements turned on. So now you'll see that measurement uh, area has gone away. I'm going to go back to view, toolbars, and measurements because I like to have that particular one on. So that's what you can, one way you can measure. There are also other ways. Now another thing you can do is predetermine length. So let me try that with you. I'm going to use the pencil tool which is your line tool and I'm going to create one side of my rectangle of particular length. So I'm going to drag this out and you'll see down here it's saying it's 12 feet 8 and 1 fourth inches. Well if I want it to be say exactly 12 feet I would type in 12 and I didn't have to hit enter or anything to get here I just started typing. I believe in um, Apple that you would have to click down there although I'm not sure since I don't have an Apple machine and then you put your foot symbol and hit enter and it adjusts it to be exactly 12 feet and then let's say I want this to be 8 feet I just drag it out